morning guys, um, I'm at the casting offices today and I'm going to be talking you through some of the sketches and type experiments that I've been doing recently um, trying to get this logo on its way to something a little more tangible. Okay, so I'm going to give you some close-ups on my very messy sketch pad which I've been making a lot of schooling messes in very recently. Um, just a variety of ideas, very rough. That's kind of what I do to uh, to start sketching things down. Just uh, really, really loose, freeform kind of stuff, with whatever kind of necessary squiggles and sketches are needed. So these are just kind of. I think a lot of my own handwriting tends to influence um, some, of, which is terrible, but <laughs> influence some of the uh, text shapes. So kind of trying to get away from that at the moment. Um, a lot of the stuff that people have liked has been sort of this more scripty, slightly slanted stuff, although I'm not sure because I think Lisa said she wasn't sure about that yesterday. Um, this is this is just really rough stuff. I started to even think about, you know, how shapes of letters could form kind of almost pictograms kind of thing, but I think it's going to be a, could be a bit cheesy doing that kind of thing. Nice interaction between the C and the A on Century Gothic there. Playing around some illustrator stuff, which I may show you in a sec. So here's where it starts to get a bit more detailed, and I suddenly thought of the idea through looking through one of the books of um, using some kind of insignia. Now, did a little study of a couple of existing insignias, is one of them and it's kind of, I really love this flourishy kind of stuff and to have that as a, a badge, a very kind of clear badge, could be pretty cool um, something I'm playing with and I think people are going to like the insignia idea the only thing is that I'm worried an insignia may be a bit too authoritative possibly, and also a lot of ideas to fit in again this, I mean this is a bit uh, literal but to try and get lots of different things in. At the same time, you don't want to necessarily exclude possible ideas that you might be using. Um, for instance, here we're talking about speaking, the kind of friendly homeliness. And this is literal at the moment, but this kind of thing. You don't want to exclude other potential areas of the business you may go into later. So I started about thinking, there's a kind of death metal, black metal on here, um, about bubbles, speech bubbles, actual bubbles, thought bubbles this kind of thing, or an eight ball, kind of quite like the circular thing obviously because of the C. Um, I do like this, the only th concern is that I thought this maybe looks like the C is eating the bubble, and also that is it just too suggestive of say a chat client, and not necessarily what we're doing. And then I just thought about, in terms of making it like an icon, just focusing on the C itself and just the shapes of a C and okay it's kind of a smiley face here which is kind of a bit silly these are just doodles but also this kind of uh, really decorative stuff could be could be the way to go and again still to play this idea of feeding loads of complex ideas into some kind of system and outputting something very neat and simple which is I guess kind of what I'm trying to do with this whole process and is the process of logo creation but uh, there are so many aspects, so many sides to the company that there are so many things to think about um, and without wanting to lean in one particular direction. It's, uh, it's, it's really difficult actually. <laughs> so after sketching out a few initial ideas in the notepad, uh, I decided to actually just go into, the, uh, into Photoshop and Illustrator and just start playing around with a few fonts, downloading a few new ones, um, just seeing what kind of what kind of words just in a plain text level and uh, so some of the stuff in this is Photoshop at the moment there's a few things here and here trying out really simple sans serif fonts the kind of hand drawn almost stencil thing which I'd quite like to redo um, you know literally drawing it from scratch although I do wonder if it's going to be a bit too complex this kind of faded um, slightly reminiscent Coca-Cola symbol Kind of classic kind of 50s-ness to it, which I quite like, but maybe 
bit too close to other things. It's a bit too modern. I actually really like this one. Um, and you know, there as I was starting to fiddle around with a few things. This is um, this is a coaching text. Um, I started to fiddle around by lowering the C and things like that. I'd like to play with the ligatures and the F and the I and stuff like that. But um, I showed it to my girlfriend who says that it reminds her of another another logo. So I'm not sure about that one. Um, again, experimenting with dropping the C down. And then I kind of quite like the attacks. Quite nice. Um, some handwritten stuff. So it's quite a classic font. It's quite playful, but um, I think it's the same as the easy, easy jet, easy everything that they use. So I'm not sure about that. So uh, I jumped over to Illustrator, and there were. Let's see, so here's it's a bit tighter. Just uh, neatening up the actual characters a little bit more, um, which is quite nice. Again, this handwritten one, see. So kind of like that, but it's a little bit too complex at the moment, so something along those lines could work. It's one of those things where it could either work very well or work really badly. I not work. Um, yeah, see, uh, yeah, this one I kind of quite like, and I did play around with the actual characters, the individual characters themselves quite a bit, but I don't know, it's a bit too neat and regimented. And here with uh, with Century Gothic, I did start to play with the older uh, smiley face thing, which is it. It could be nice, but I think it would need a lot of work before it stops being silly. So.